everyone and welcome back. This is Wendy Historian and today we are talking about the case of the missing kidney. Now it is hardly news that directioners know way more about the boys' bodies than is probably normal. In our defense, usually that information was given to us by the boys themselves. I was a colic child, um, which means I can't burp, so everything comes out of the other end. Four nipples, confirm or deny? Confirm. I, I'm not circumcised. I'm Especially in the earliest days of their career, the Wendy boys were just shamelessly and freely sharing whatever bizarre personal information that they could think of. And in many cases, those factoids became fandom cornerstones for determining the boys' personalities and creating their archetypal roles within the band. The most fascinating example of which being Liam Payne and his kidney. Rewind all the way back to August of 1993 and Liam James Payne was born three weeks early. Liam explained in the band's 2011 autobiography Dare to Dream that he was born effectively dead and the doctors had to revive him at birth. Like many preemie babies, Liam struggled a lot with his health as a kid. He received constant treatment and regular testing and daily injections up until doctors discovered that one of his kidneys was so severely scarred that it no longer functioned. And his one working kidney was not functioning at full capacity. Now, when discussing the situation in Dare to Dream, Liam said, quote, I've still got both kidneys, but one doesn't work. So I have to be careful not to drink too much and I have to keep myself as healthy as possible. Now Liam having a built-in health excuse as to why he didn't party became very significant to the overall 1D mythos. From the earliest days of One Direction, Liam had taken on the role of the sensible one. We just want to say a massive... Oh. We just want to say a massive, massive thank oh. you to... We just want to say... Paternalistic. Excuse me no, you look exceptional. Oh, thanks. Don't ever, don't ever talk yourself down like that on camera. Organized. Three, two, one. <laughs> right, three, two, one. Three, two. Responsible. I can't deal with this. I need, I need help. Useless. Liam was the driving force behind keeping everyone on track. Every first line from the second I'll jet. Okay. And it seemed like Liam fit into this role so seamlessly because he had the most professional singing experience and he was eventually dubbed Daddy Direction by the boys and the fandom due to his sensible nature. Well, I was always known as the dad of the band. I've literally been called daddy since I was like 19. And his frequent mentioning of how he didn't party because he couldn't drink since he only had one functioning kidney really fed into that straight and narrow image. And rather than explain every time the whole detail of, well, I have two kidneys but one is so severely scarred it doesn't function anymore, he eventually just simplified it to, I only have one working kidney, which was eventually further simplified to, I only have one kidney. Now in the earliest days of Direction or Lore, as 1D was growing into the juggernaut we all know it to be today, Liam having one kidney was a must-know, basic direction or fact of life. Right up until August of 2012, when Liam tweeted out that a recent ultrasound had revealed an exciting medical update. Wait, what? Because the fandom had adopted the simplified understanding of the kidney situation, people were understandably confused. It wasn't just the fans that were confused by this, the other boys were as well. On kidney for a long time, boys. So never had no. He never had one kidney, it was a myth. Yeah, he yeah, was fooled the world. He was fooled the world. The kidney just healed. It was, it was confirmed that one of my kidneys was scarred, right? Oh. We were told they didn't have one, it was gone. So we of course treated the whole story the way we knew best. Jokes, memes, and heavy sarcasm. credit, he had been honest with us from the start in giving the whole story that he had two kidneys but only one work. But because the I have two kidneys detail got lost along the way, people felt deeply betrayed. With some fans wondering, had Liam been lying to us just to gain sympathy points? After all, missing kidneys don't just magically reappear, do they? No, of course not. But it is possible for a damaged kidney to heal, regenerate, which is apparently what happened. Liam Payne may have had 99 problems during the 1D days, but a missing kidney was never one. 